Ayan, so good evening again sa ating uh, session ng ating uh, common competency. Ayan, so uh, balik tayo sa ating tanong. No? Ano, yung, ano yung pangatlong basic competency na meron tayong pinag-aralan nung nakaraang, ling, uh, nakaraang mga araw? Hello? Ay, walang nakalala. Walang nakaalala. Laika. Laika. Ano ang ano, pangatlong core um, um, parang pangatlong basic natin. Laika. Hello. Parang wala akong kausap. Wala bang any wala bang ano? Wala bang sudyante dito? Ayan, sige, Realin. Go Realin. Sir, practice career, career for professionalism. Ayan, practice career, career, no, sorry, practice career professionalism. So we topic that kind of uh, uh, information sheet no, na kung saan uh, somehow nag-build ng ating steam no, pagdating sa pagiging professional no, sa ating uh, uh, trabaho soon. No? And last, ano yung last natin? Yung pang-apat? Ano yung pang-apat natin? Hey, anyone from the class? Ayan, go really in. Sige, go really in. Sir, practice occupational health and safety. Ayan, ang pinaka-importante sa lahat, no? Ang pagpa-practice lagi ng ating OHS or... Uh, Uh, occupational health and safety no kasi ang pinakapunto noon is uh, kapag na i-apply no natin ang uh, ang tamang paggamit ng OHS or safety natin no we will prevent the uh, damage or danger no sa sa sarili natin at the same time sa ating company na pinagtatrabahuhan okay so we will now proceed to our common competency no So salamat sa ating sumagot no sa ating uh, uh, question no. Okay, we will now proceed to our uh, next uh, sa common competency natin. So we have uh, five no kung sa ko basic competency natin we have four. Now this time sa ating common competency is we have five. So what are those? Develop and update industry knowledge and uh, observe workplace hygiene procedure. perform computer operations, perform workplace safety and practices, and provide effective customer service. So those are the five common competency na kailangan nyo ring i-memorize, no? That I will... Uh, uh, nasa biyahe daw si Laika. Oh, okay, sige, sige. Okay, so yan yung ating common competency, no? We will now proceed tayo sa develop and update industry knowledge. So upon checking your... Uh, modules natin no wala akong may open dito na notes natin pero bagamat wala akong may open na notes i will share additional information to everyone okay so this uh, information uh, may be uh, accepted no sa ating um, industry kasi ito yung ating uh, kailangan okay sa para makapagtrabaho tayo or magkaroon tayo ng goal no sa ating uh, kitchen brigade natin So we will now proceed to our uh, classic kitchen brigade. Ayan, so nag-share ulit ako ng screen. Ay, nasa baba ako. Ayan, so in the kitchen organization, okay, we have, I mean, before we proceed pala no, dito sa PowerPoint natin, no, alamin muna natin saan tayo nabibilang na industry. Okay, ang industry na pinapasukan natin ngayon is tinatawag nating hospitality and tourism industry. This industry... is a kind of business or organization that provides services to the people okay in return of money okay uh, in the hospitality and tourism industry we have four umbrellas no ang ating apat na umbrella ng hospitality and tourism industry is number one is the food and beverage industry the second one is the lodging industry which is the accommodation at uh, that provides accommodation the third one is uh, the travel uh, Ano, 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 the recreation industry and the fourth is the travel and tourism industry. Okay, in the food and beverage industry, uh, these are these are business or companies that provide food and drinks. Okay, or food or beverage. 
okay, to the people in return of money, which is dito tayo napapabilang sa sector na to, no, sa food and beverage industry. And the other industry is we have the lodging, which is provides accommodations. These are hotels, okay, or provide rooms in return of money. Okay, and the third one will be the recreation. Recreation are industry that, provide, that provides rest, relaxation, and enjoyment, which is, uh, and we have the different examples like amusement parks, theme parks, salons, spa, barbershop, billiard halls, malls, okay, uh, cinemas, uh, ano pa ba, uh, ating mga computer, uh, computer, uh, computer shop, ayan, or any, Uh, or mga e-electronic e uh, uh, games. Ayan. So, uh, casino, yes, is part of the recreation industry. And the third one, uh, the last one is the travel and tourism industry. These are uh, business or organizations or people, okay, that uh, aside from using no the different transportation, okay, they add additional services. For example, we have number one is the travel, uh, I don't know, Tama, travel agency. No, travel agency is a kind of business organization that owns by certain group of people or business or big companies no, that creates itinerary. When we say itinerary, these are the sequence of activities during uh, your travel, no, during your uh, vacations. or These are your itemized uh, activities no, uh, while you are in the vacation. So sometimes a travel agency will fix your air, air, uh, airfare or yung inyong uh, pag, uh, aeroplano, paggamit ng aeroplano, paggamit ng akomodasyon doon sa pupuntahan yung lugar at yung tourism spot no, na pupuntahan nyo sa specific place ng lugar ninyo. So those are the duty or the, the, the work of the travel agency. And we have the tour operator. No? Tour operator... Yes, Fatima, yes, sa mga hotel. And we have the tour operator. These are people, okay, individual or group of people, okay, that helps no, our uh, vacationists, okay? They, uh, they go with the people, okay, that took a tour or vacations, okay? For example, kagaya nung uh, ginagawa natin during high school days, no? in the way back no? yung mga kaidaran ko diyan yung mga dating nakaranas ng ating mga field trip mga ganyan so example yan ng mga tour operators uh, operations no na ginagawa ng mga tour operator okay uh, yes kasama po yan sa hotel ayan and we have uh, ano pa ba yung mga nag nagki-cater ngayon ng mga travel di ba meron nakalagay doon na uh, 299 o oh, 2,999 per fax. Okay, pagpupunta kayo sa mga local places natin like Baguio, La Union, mga ganyan, Boracay. Okay, na kung saan meron kayo kasamang tour guide. Kasi this person are the tour operators uh, people okay, that make sure that the services they offered are uh, fully, uh, fully used or so that the customer will get satisfied. No? Uh, we uh, we they use buses, uh, uh, airlines, even the cruise uh, cruise ship or the cruise lines, you no, know, uh, sa sa travel natin. And the, the third one we have uh, what you call this the uh, the event and convention planner. Okay, this event and convention planner are also industry industry na bilang sa na, na connected no sa ating industry na these are peoples or group of company organizations organizations that create events, concerts, awards, okay, seminars, conventions. Okay, these are ito yung mga nagbubuo na yan. So they they build uh, they build uh Uh, what you call this uh, business no nakakapag uh, uh, nakakapag-create sila ng mga manpower okay ng mga kailangan no sa mismong event na yan okay and uh, um, even the mga occasions natin personal no we have the weddings we have uh, the the birthdays like the do okay o kaya mga birthdays ng bata ayan or kaya mga catering services no ina ginagawa natin uh, na part no ng isang klasing event ay part ng event and convention planners ayan so mga nai-invite na naguhos nag-i-invite na mag uh, 
mag-aayos ng inyong wedding or like yung wedding planner, they are part of this uh, industry. No? Kago ako, kagaya ko, I am part of also of this industry because um, I host a certain kind of events no? uh, that, uh, that me, my individual self, was also uh, part of this. And the last uh, industry that we had is uh, the cruise ship or the, uh, the cruise line. or sometimes called as the walking or the I don't know the moving or not walking no the moving or the floating industry these are the cruise lines no na nakikita natin sa TikTok uh, sa YouTube or kaya sa mga commercials natin sa Facebook na kung saan marami kayong nakikita ng mga barko na naglalakihan na kung saan meron silang hotel meron silang uh, recreation at meron silang mga restaurants. Yun yung mga features no, ng ating uh, cruise line or cruise ship. Kaya tinatawag natin siyang floating or moving industry because within that kind of cruise ship, you had the food and beverage industry, you have an accommodation, which is the lodging industry, and you also have the recreation industry that provides rest, relaxation, and enjoyment. Yun, anang, yun, doon, yun ang umbrella ng ating industry. So anywhere, so kahit kahit uh, nakapasok ka no sa tinatawag nating Kukiri NC2 no na na qualification still you have the part or you have the power to be part of this kind of industry kasi they are part no ng ating uh, industry. Okay, they, we are interrelated to one another because we provide services to the people. Okay? Uh, I'm sure no na hindi naman lahat kayo after you graduate natin dito sa ating Kukiri NC2 or sa GISC not all of you will uh, will be uh, will be kitchen staff okay not uh, not all of you will become a waiter no there are some of you that are uh, having a part of the service and the recreation sometimes some of you will go to the hotels different hotels Okay, sometimes our, 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 uh, some of your classmates are targeting to be part of uh, or makasampa ng barko, no? Okay, okay lang yan. It's okay. Everything is okay. Yung mga ganyang, mga, ganyang mga pangarap ninyo, mga ganyang objective or goal nyo sa buhay. Okay lang yan kasi part yan ng industry natin at we are, we are interrelated to one another. Okay? Kaya wag kayo mawala ng pag-asa na pa after nyo After yung matapos no itong kukiri NC2 natin wala kayong ma- makuwang trabaho no wag kayong mawalang pag-asa okay kasi marami tayong industry or business or organizations or company that are looking for you okay wag niyo nang hayaan yung mga hindi graduate ng kukiri NC2 ang pumisisyon no sa dapat na posisyon na nandun ka okay kagaya ng ano for example waiter di ba Sometimes mga graduate ng informa- ng IT eh, ng IT o kaya gra- mga engineer pero they they, they come with the with the job of like a waiter, barista, bartender. Okay, wag niyo nang wag niyo nang hayaan yung mga taong 'yon ang umagaw no sa oportunidad na meron kayo. Kaya kailangan niyo pagpursigihan ang inyong pag-aaral at matapos ang inyong pag-aaral at makapaghanap kayo ng trabaho kasi yun naman ang goal natin. Kung hindi naman makapaghanap ng trabaho is magkaroon naman ng negosyo. Okay? So are we clear? Hello? Yes, <laughs> Narinig niyo ba ako? <laughs> Yes, yes. Ayan, narinig naman pala. Ayan. So we will now go, uh, we will now go in the food and beverage industry where the uh, different examples that we had is the restaurants, bars, uh, coffee shop, bake shop, okay, or, or even cafeteria or canteen, or kaya mga food stall, no? Uh, basta these are kind of business that provides uh, food to the people. Okay, and we will now proceed to the restaurants or mga kitchens natin. Okay, sa loob ng kusina natin, no, meron tayong mga uh, tinatawag na mga posisyon. Okay, kasi hindi lang na hindi lang naman basta tayo nagluluto lang sa kusina. Okay, so we we gave we give also a uh, due, no, sa bawat duty sa responsibilities na meron tayo sa loob ng kusina. And this is the party system. Okay, part of the system is the method of the kitchen organization which is formal structure brigade in most cases only... Ano po yun? Ano yan, Roy? 
Okay, only found in high quality, high quality kitchens and restaurants. Okay, party system is a kind of division. Okay, kind of specific duty or responsibility to every kitchen staff no, within the kitchen. Later, we will see the different party or divisions inside the kitchen. Uh, the way kitchen is organized depends on several factors. No, It depends on the menu. Okay, what type of menu you offer to the people or customer or guests. A type of establishment is a Chinese, it is a Chinese restaurant. It is a French uh, uh, restaurant. It's a Europe, European type of restaurant. It is kind of fast food. It's a kind of uh, fine dining restaurant. So it, it varies, no? Uh, the size of operation, how many uh, you can, uh, I mean, gaano karaming customer ang kaya mong itake, no? Sa inyong, uh, ang tawag nito, sa pag, pag, ano yung pag, ano yung pag operate ninyo, no? For example, you can serve the maximum of 10 packs, 50 packs, 100 packs, 200 packs, 300 packs, or even 1,000 packs per operations, no? And uh, we also the, uh, we also have the system, I mean, part of the organization of the kitchen is depend on the facilities or the equipment they provide. Okay, so we will now proceed to the second slide. Okay, the classic kitchen brigade. Okay, the kitchen brigade is headed by, okay, the executive chef. The executive chef are the person or the people, okay, who got the highest position inside the kitchen. They are the one who direct the different people under the organizations of the kitchen in their duties and responsibilities. He or she makes sure that the, uh, the, the quality service or the standard recipe they provide okay, uh, to certain or to perform a certain kind of dish will be uh, uh, sure na, na, that this is will be uh, this will serve no to the people or no. Uh, to call this no shortcut no sa pagluluto na kailang pagkain kasi mal malimit no na mangyari sa isang restaurant na kapag hindi naging masarap yung pagkain ay nereklamo sila pag nereklamo sabay sarado ng restaurant kasi it happens okay na sa maliit na pagkakamali ng mga kitchen personnel pwedeng makapagpasara ito ng restaurant no so yun okay so next natin is we have uh, the so chef, okay, so chef. You pronounce it so chef. Chop type nga dito. So chef. Ayan. Pronounce nyo nga so chef. Hello? <laughs> May tao po ba dito? <laughs> Ayan. Sushef. Pronounce nyo naman. Pronounce nyo. Dali, dali. So chef. So so chef. Ayan, su, ayan, su. Okay, su chef. Hindi siya su chef, ha? No, wala tayong si chef. It's su chef. Okay, su chef is uh, the person that go with the under directions of the executive chef, sometimes called as the assistant of the executive chef, which is the su chef. Or sometimes, ito yung tinatawag nating, uh, uh, kumbaga parang siya yung overall, no? na nag undergo ng operations ng kitchen natin. And we have here the relief cook or the turnan. Okay, turnan or the relief cook are under the sous chef. Okay, kumbaga parang siya yung pwedeng umalalay okay, sa ating assistant. Usually ang assistant natin sa kitchen kasi dalawa or tatlo. Okay, sometimes yung pangalawang assistant or supervisor in short Okay, inside the kitchen are the one who responds, uh, respond to the different people no, under this organization or dito pala sa taas. Yung mga nakikita yung mga boxes na yan, no? yan yung mga positions na dinadirect ng ating sous chef or ng ating turnan. Okay, and we have the first, uh, we have the first uh, position. Okay, first position natin, we have here the sauce chef, okay, that you pronounce... So, si yay. Okay, that's you pronounce it so si yay. Ayan. Pronounce so si yay. So she. So si yay, not so she. <laughs> Baka mapunta ng tetra pack yan, ma'am. <laughs> Ayun si nare. So si yay. So si yay. Yan, ang ganda. O, diba? So si yay or the sauce chef. This person are responsible for making of different sauces. 
Okay, ano yung mga sauces na ginagawa natin sa loob ng kusina? We have here the bechamel, the hollandaise, the velouté, the brown sauce or the, or the espanol. And we have here the, ano pa ba yun? Uh, hollandaise, bechamel, velouté. Ayun, tomato sauce. Ayan. <laughs> Nakalimutan na agad. Ayan, yung sauce tomato tinatawag natin. They are responsible for that. No, for making in the kitchen. The second position natin is the fish chef. Okay, the poissonier. So ito lang, poissonier. Ikan. Okay, you pronounce it poissonier. Hello? Poissonier. Yeah, poissonier. Ayan. So poissonier or the poissonier. Okay, ito yung hindi nang lalason, no? Hindi po siya nang lalason. It's not about uh, poisoning the fish or poisoning the people, no? Fish chef or poisonier are responsible, no? For a preparations of different fish. Okay, siya yung nagbabutcher, siya yung nagtatanggal ng hasang, siya yung nagpe-prepare ng, uh, nito, ng butchery or ng uh, marketable portion ng ating fish, no? Ang ice and poisonier. Kasi there are some... There are some fish kasi that has a poison. And the poison ye or the fish chef are responsible no, to serve that kind of fish without the poison. That's why they call it poison ye. Okay, next. Vegetable chef. Okay, or the entremet ye. Entremet ye. Entremet ye. Yan. Very good, Ma'am Ed Varlene. Ayan. Entremet ye. Okay, entremet tray are responsible for uh, preparations of vegetables, no? Or mga tinatawag nating uh, uh, cuts, okay? That we will tackle in the in the future, you know, yeah, different cuts na vegetable na kailangan nyo rin i-perform during our uh, session, no? Sa ating uh, uh, school, no? Pag nag-face-to-face -face tayo, dapat may apply nyo yung ganyang klaseng basic cuts kasi kung hindi, masasabon ko kayo ng bongga-bongga. Okay, next natin, roast chef. Okay, yung ating roast chef. Okay. Ano lang yan, madali lang yan, rote su. Okay, rote su. Okay, ro ti su. Okay, you pronounce it rote su. Okay, without R, rote su. Okay, without E. Okay, rote su. Okay, roast rotisu. chef or rote su are responsible for roasting food like roast chicken, roast pork, roast beef, roast fish, or any na near roast sa uh, loob ng kusina are duty or responsibility by the roast chef. And we have here the pantry chef. Okay, or tinatawag nating guard mon hey. Okay, that's J or hey, hey. Dapat hey. Kasi we, uh, yeah, we use kasi we use kasi uh British. Okay, British English. Okay, that when you pronounce the J, okay, we 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 say it H. Hey. Okay. Uh -oh. Kasi pag sa American English naman natin, when you pronounce the J, okay, it's J, not hey. So since we are using the British English or the, the, the language of them, okay, kaya we, 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 we said in the J is hey. Okay, so guard mon hey. Pronounce. Guard mon hey. Guard mon hey. Ayan, hindi guard de manger ha. Wala magpo-pronounce ng guard de manger. Pag kayo may nag-pronounce ng guard de manger, hindi ko kayo estudyante. Ha? <laughs> Ayan. So also yung ating mga nakikinig sa ating recorded line you can also follow no the pronunciation to our our recorded line natin. And we have here the next chef. Oh no 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 no. In the pantry chef or pantry chef okay or the garment hey are responsible no for preparation of easy prepared food. What are those? Sandwiches, salads. Okay, that uh uh, uh eat no inside the restaurant. So pasensya na at mayroong at meron akong kamag-anak. <laughs> Andito ka pa ko, dumating na kasi siya kaya may narinig kayong ibang bosses. Okay, so we will now proceed to our pinaka-favorite na position ng maraming tao. Ayan. We have here the pastry chef. Okay? Pastry chef, you pronounce it pa. T 
ti, si, ye. Okay, you pronounce it pati si ye. Pronounce. Pati si ye. Pati si ye. Ayan. Ayan, you pronounce it pati si ye. Pastry chef are responsible for making of breads, cakes, and pastries, no? Or in short, dessert, okay? Inside the uh, the kitchen. So the pastry, pastry chef are responsible for that. Kaya usually, di ba, pag uh, nanonood kayo ng, min, min, ng min master chef, no? Meron silang category ng uh, best pastry chef. Kasi ang uh, isa sa pinaka maganda kasi na duty or responsibility. Kasi ang dessert kasi, pag in terms of menu, no? Dessert is the completion of the meal. When you enjoy, I sorry, nagsusulit. When you enjoy, no, the the food, no, and plus, ah, uh, uh, kung parang mas marami, uh, I mean, na uh, mas masarap din, mas atas masarap din yung dessert, no. Kung parang mas uh, fully loaded heaven uh, uh, experience kayo, no, sa kusina. Kaya itong pastry chef na to are has a big responsibility, no sa sa kusina natin. Okay, so now we will now proceed to that's that's how we un, that's how you update no the industry not just the blah 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 in the neo no. This is our the additional or at least you have the projection no from now on no you have the projection what uh what positions okay ang gusto ang gugustuhin ko no in the future no especially kapag uh, kapag nag-start ka with a certain kind of position and then tumagal ka sa pagiging uh, pagiging pagiging ganun no sa loob ng kusina ano na yung tatahakin mo at least i give you the idea what are different positions in order for you to become an executive chef okay so marami kang pagdadaanan in order for you to become executive chef okay unless you are the owner of the of the restaurant and you are uh, the creator no of your own restaurant and you will be called as executive chef regardless of your age okay but when you are talking about experience service okay uh, you need to reach almost 50 to 60 years old before you become an executive chef ayan bakit Ay, hindi ko pa po. Actually, ma'am, Mary Grace, pa ako nagsasend ng attendance. Pero dahil nangungulit ka na, sorry. <laughs> Ayan, mag-send ako ng attendance, no? Okay. So, next natin is we have here the classical. Ayan na yan. Ayan na yung duties and responsibilities. So, we will move forward kasi na nakakwento na natin dyan, no? Okay na tayo dyan. Okay? So, ano pa ba ang ating topic natin? Ayan. Okay. Success in food and beverage services that you will be need to uh, to apply, no? Number one is service. Okay, increasing pressure for improved professionalism in food and beverage service staff. Okay, matindi ang pressure sa loob ng kusina. Okay, lalo kapag uh, nagpo-provide kayo ng pagkain at yung pagkain is laging mabenta at doon ka na-assign, napakatindi ng, pro- ng pressure, no? Uh, kasi kailangan mong ma-perform yung dish or ilang dish within a specific period of time okay they will give you a uh, a certain kind of uh, seconds or minutes no to finish a certain kind of dish the server is the main point of the contact between the customer established and plays an important role in the profession to be successful in food and beverage services requires member the staff to have number 1 sound product knowledge you know what what you know you must know what you're selling okay you must taste what is the food that you uh, sell no to the people okay kaya especially kapag mga tinatawag nating mga ano tawag doon mga Michelin na uh, type of restaurants no uh, they are important no they are important yung uh, pagtikim ng ng ating anang mga pagkain na binebenta nila kana to make sure na consistent yung lasa okay na lumalabas inside the kitchen so kailangan yan Kaya sa inyo, pag nag-actual na tayo during your, uh, ay tayo, tama, ng actual ninyo, you need to taste your food before you present it to the panel or taya, kaya to the uh, critic no, ng inyong mga pagkain. So I'm expecting more of you guys okay, na mag-perform no, sa loob ng kusina. Okay, regardless no, kung anong mga limitadong mga nagawa, limitadong uh, nandoon sa ating kusina. But still, uh, 
it's your duty and responsibility no, to execute a better dish rather than just uh, your uh, usual dish na, ine, na pina-perform no, sa inyong bahay. Okay? Next is well develop interpersonal skills. Interpersonal skills these are your uh, your attitude, no? Your internal perception towards the towards your duty and responsibility. A range of technical skills. Technical skills in terms of okay, memorizing the recipe in terms of executing Okay, the different technicalities or terminologies or glossary, uh, ano ito ko call this, execution ng, uh, ng uh, pag-perform ng dish. No? But for example, pag sinabi sa iyo ng chef is, you need to make a mornay. Okay, then you need to perform. Uh, you will start from the scratch, of course. Hindi man kayo makakabili ng mornay sa labas. No? You will start with the scratch. With the equal uh, portion of fats and flour, you will create the roux and you will add milk and you will add cheese. So that's how you perform or how that's how you create Mornay no? uh, in the kitchen. So ganun yun. Pag sinabi kong Julian cat, you should know what's Julian cat. Okay, you, 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 you steam no? the food, then you should know what the steaming process is. You brace the food. You must know what, uh, you must know how to brace a certain kind of food. Okay, and then of course, last one is the teamwork because you are not alone inside the kitchen because you are in the service industry and uh, you are you need you no know, a someone or somebody inside your uh or your work you no know, to work with. Okay, so that you will uh, else, uh you you can execute you no know, the the food or the dish. Okay, na kailangan na execute. Okay, so we will now proceed to the second slide. Okay na tayo dyan. Okay. Kitchen objective. Ayan, napaka-importante nito. No? What are the kitchen objective natin? Number one is to provide safe meals. Okay, for all customers or consumers. Okay, so how do we, how would we able no, to provide a safe, safe meal? Number one is we need to use a safe and fresh and healthy ingredients or raw materials natin. Okay? In order for that to, number one, to become safe. Okay? Second is we need to apply good and proper hygiene standards. Okay? To provide certain kind of meals and to avoid temperature abuse. Okay? Yan yung tinatawag nating uh, uh, tinatawag nating HACCP, no? Or the Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point. The HACCP is a procedure where you need to apply it in order for your food to be provided or to, to serve is safe. Okay, yun yung provisions ng ating uh, HACCP, no? Na tinatawag nating, tinatawag nating HACCP. Okay, the next one is to provide quality meals for all consumers. Okay, when we are providing quality meals, it means you need to use a quality ingredients. Okay, not expensive ingredients, but a quality one. Di ba may natapon pa? Okay, hindi lang hindi dapat hindi hindi expensive. It should be have the quality. Okay, sa pagbibili niyo, alam niyo. Kahit hindi naman kayo gumasa ng na sobrang laki, basa tama or quality lang yung pagkain na ino-offer, uh, na, na bibili ninyo, na purchase niyo, you can create a quality meals. Okay, syempre, kasama na dyan yung hindi nyo pag-abuse no, ng quality uh, uh, procedure natin. For example, bumili ka nga ng quality meats na nagkaka... Hindi naman sabi na nagkakalaga. No? Kung baga parang bumili ka ng karne na under ng USFDA. Okay, pero yung towing process mo mali. Okay, so still, you cannot be able to provide a quality meals. Yet, your ingredients has the quality and you do not follow the quality, the, the, the standard of procedure in towing food and definitely you cannot provide a good quality meals. Okay, may factor yan. Hindi lang pag sinabi mong quality ingredients ang bibilin mo, dapat tama rin yung, pag, uh, tama rin yung gagawin mong pagluluto doon sa ingredients na ang gagawin mo. Okay, nagkakaintindihan ba? Hello? 
Yes po. Yes po. Thank you po. Okay. The next one, the third one is to meet or, or exceed the food needs of or uh, the food needs of organizations target market. Okay, pag sinabi natin to meet or exceed the food needs of organizations target market, it speak about uh, the the service, okay, or the provisions of the food yet in less no in less expenses of uh, purchasing of uh, ingredients. Okay? Yan, isa yan. Isa yan uh, factor na yan. And the next one is to utilize food stocks in the best, in the best way possible. Or how do you utilize food stocks in the, best, in the best way possible? Okay? The only thing you need to, uh, I mean, the, the only thing you need to do to utilize your food stock is to apply the FIFO. FIFO stands for first in, first out. Okay? Pag sinabi first in, first out, Okay, the first, the first uh, uh, application of the first and first count procedure is number one is the label. Okay, you need to put a label on the previous delivery to the current delivery of your restaurant. So, syempre, ang gagamitin mo, okay, to your, uh, sa gagamitin mo, sa restaurant mo na i-apply ang pagkain is yung previous, no, na, -de na, na deliver okay, sa, kusi sa kusina nyo. Okay, that's how we apply the first in, first out. Okay, at the same time, in storing, okay, in storing uh, food in our supplies in the kitchen, yung mga bago nilalagay yan sa likod. Okay, tapos yung mga luma nasa harapan yan. That's how you apply the first in, first out. And it applies to every establishment that provides food. Okay, di ba minsan ma nagiging mautak kayo na pag nabubili kayo sa mga groceries, no? Ang ginagawa niyo, doon kayo sa dulo kumukuha ng pagkain kasi iniisip niyo bago yung pagkain na sa dulo. Hindi nga kayo nagkakamali. Tama naman 'yon. Okay? Kasi nga, 'yun yung ano, 'yun yung uh, first in first out procedure. Nakukuha ba? Hello. Dapat ina-apply yan sa ano? Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you po. Dapat ina-apply at even sa bahay ninyo ina-apply din dapat 'yan. Okay, para hindi kayo masiraan ng pagkain. Okay, hindi perket may bagong binili kayong ulam, ay, ay, ay ulam, 'yun na agad ang lulutuin niyo and yet may the same item ka na nandoon sa ref. 'Yun muna ang lutuin mo bago 'yung bagong ano binili mo. Okay? Unless wala ka talagang bala kainin 'yung luma na nandoon sa ref mo kasi nga feeling mo expired na siya or feeling mo sira na siya. And kung alam mo talaga... Yes, ma'am, Annelene? Sorry po. Opo. Nag-naka-anil na po kayo, ma'am. Ayan. Okay? So, i-apply din natin yan sa kusina. Hindi per ka nasa trabaho tayo, eh, doon lang tayo natin i-apply yung first and first. So, i-apply din po natin yan sa ating mga tahanan. Next is to minimize the stock wastages. Okay, itong uh, minimize stock waste, ito yung ginagawa na kung saan uh, sa bawat uh, operation or day-to-day -day operations ng restaurant nyo or sa kitchen niyo, meron kayong tinatawag na inventory. Okay, inventory is a kind of process or uh, system okay, that applies in a certain kind of uh, kitchen no, to know okay, the differences from the starting operation up to the last operation. Okay, that's how you do the inventory. Pinagtat, pinagtutugma mo ano pa yung natitira versus doon sa nakaproject na dapat na natitira. Okay, for example, nag-open ka ng uh, kit ng kitchen mo at meron ka pang tatlong galon at the end of the day, nakita mo sa kitchen mo at nag-check ka ng inventory mo, meron ka ng isa, meron ka na lang isang galon na mantika. Okay? So that's how you do the inventory. Okay? And then after doing that kind of inventory, the kitchen staff also are responsible to make a requisition request, a uh, requisition form. What is this requisition procedure? Okay? It means that you are requesting, no, for additional ingredients. Okay? So that your operation will not be compromised. Okay, yun yung, tin yun yung tinatawag nating uh, minimize or maximization of stock and waste just natin. Then the second one, uh, the, the, the next one is to achieve monthly financial food targets. 
what is this achievement in financial food targets? Although this is not just your main uh, objective, no? Usually ito, ano siya, uh, projection siya ng managers or ng staff, okay, ng restaurant in the front of the house or front of service. Pero kayo pa rin still, uh, you had the role, no? To, uh, to achieve a certain kind of financial food targets. Okay, you are responsible to monitor what are different food or stocks or supplies that are um, uh, still many on your stocks. Okay, or marami ka pang supply. Kapag ganun, ang gagawin ninyo, you need to report it to your manager or the restaurant manager so that the, the waiter will push the product. The, the product? Product? <laughs> Okay, we'll push the product no to the different waiters so that yun yung ma-ibenta no sa restaurant. Kasi pag hindi, malaking sayang yan no sa ating kusina. So kailangan connected din tayo with the, our waiters. Okay, next, to create menus that will both attract and retain the customer. Okay, there is no uh, the only ano yun, diba, diba, sa, parang sa atin, no? the only constant in this world is change. Okay, same thing with the menus, okay, of the restaurant. Hindi yan, hindi yan lagi, uh, yan nat yan lang yung menus mo until the end of the day. Okay, di ba pansin nyo, ang Jollibee, McDo, nagbabago sila ng menu. Di ba, minsan, uh, doon dati, wala silang, uh, wala silang mango pie or peach mango pie. Ngayon, binalik na naman nila. Yung mga ganun, o dati walang champ, ngayon may champ, tapos wala na naman champ. Kasi kailangan nilang ikutin no, yung kanilang uh, menus na kung ano yung papatok dun sa tao or depende rin sa supplies or supplier nila kung ano yung kanilang uh, seasonal. Kasi may hirap kasi sa restaurant kasi kapag gumagamit ka ng mga ingredients sa seasonal. So ibig sabihin, kapag hindi seasonal yan, either maasim or hindi maganda yung quality or mahal yung ingredients na mabibili mo. So yan, malaking factor yan sa cost natin. Kung kasi kung alam mo na mahal pala yung ingredients in this time, so wag mong bibilin o wag mo siyang ilagay sa menu ng ganitong mga panahon. Sometimes sometimes you you call that kind of is a cycle menu. Okay, cycle menu is a kind of menu that uh, that is uh, can or that can be repeated within a certain kind of period. Okay, it's either a month, a week, quarter or a year. Okay, yung tinatawag nating cycle menu. And then, babalik-balik, babalik-balik lang din siya. Okay, itong menu na to. Okay, next natin is to create menus that will both, and then, next, to prepare right and quality, the right quality of food. Ayan, napaka-importante sa kusina natin ang pag-measure ng ating ingredients. Okay, which is, I will, I will taught you how to, uh, to do a uh, mathematical equation in terms of conversion of units dapat marunong kayo mag-convert ng units natin from ml from ml to grams from grams to tablespoon from tablespoon to cups to pint and to uh, what you call this kung ano man yung conversion na kailangan to pounds mga ganyan so meron tayong kala nyo kala nyo ligtas kayo sa mat hindi kayo ligtas sa mat dito sa kukiri natin meron kayong mat okay kaya sorry sorry na lang sa lahat no kailangan nga uh, kailangan i-expand nyo rin yung inyong uh, capability in terms of your mathematical equations dito sa ating, our procedures at equation kasi naman tayo gumagamit ng pi. Hindi naman tayo gumagamit ng uh, quadratic formula. No? All we have to do is to know the basic, the basic operations, the plus, minus, divide, multiply, and divide. Yun lang yung kailangan natin dyan. And the next one, the last one, ayan. Uh, to prepare a food in the time expected to avoid the customer waiting. Ito yung pinakamadalas na problema. Hindi lang ng cashier or ng waiter even sa loob ng kusina. If you think that the food is need to prepare for about 20 minutes, you need to cue no, uh, your uh, waiter that the food is to be ready from 23 to 25 minutes. Do not give the exact time, okay? The way the customer expected to receive the food, okay? Ano yan? Ano yan? Uh, ano yan? Uh, tawag nito? Uh, discarding yun na yan, okay? Na hindi mapag-antay si customer sa kanyang uh, pagkain na in-order, na, ano, na, na in no? 
So, iiwasan nyo yan. Avoid nyo yung magantay yung customer sa inyo. Okay? Next. So, that those are the different kitchen objectives that you should have, you should carry, no? Okay? In the, uh, so that you need to apply that in the future. Okay, food production methods, no, we will pass on this. We hindi naman tayo, uh, yeah, we, we go here with the different uh, part na ating industry update, update natin, no. Okay, these are different methods, no, of cooking, okay, na ina-apply natin sa loob ng kusina. No, number one is baking. Okay, when we say baking, okay, we are cooking food, okay, uh, in the oven. Okay, we are cooking food in the oven. Okay, so nakalagay ito, cook in dry heat. Like actually, kasi we have two types of cooking methods. Okay, kumbaga parang ito yung nanay at tatay ng kusina, ng cooking methods natin. The first one is the dry heat method. The second one is the moist heat method. And the third is the combination, okay, of the two. Okay, either bra uh, bracing or stewing, which, which is, uh, uh, definition is dry heat method is a kind of cooking method that uses direct heat or fats no to cook the food okay again dry heat method is a kind of cooking method that uses direct heat okay or fats or oil no to cook the food okay so yun yung isa, yun yung dry heat method natin inverse of that okay moist heat method is a kind of cooking method that uses moisture or water okay to cook the food okay that is the that is uh, the the moist method okay the third is the bracing okay pag sinabi nating bracing okay nag start siya no nag start siya with moist heat method and you end up into dry heat method okay again nag start siya with moist heat method and then you end with uh, dry heat method. Okay? Yun yung tinatawag nating bracing. Okay? Bigyan ko kayo ng example ng niluluto ng ganon. For example, nagluluto kayo ng sisig. Okay? You start with boiling the, the, the ear of the pig or kaya the mass of the pig. And then after boiling, if you think it, it is uh, well, it's, it is well done na, no? Malambot na. Okay? You will proceed to the second dry heat method. Either you fry, you saute, or you grill. And then you chop, serve. Okay? So example yun ng bracing method. Okay? The next one is the stewing method. Ano tong stewing method natin? You start, okay, with the dry heat method and then you end up into moist heat method. Sample na natin. Okay? Minudo. Okay? Minudo is a kind of... Kaya ang tawag nila, di ba? Uh, tawag nila sa... Ano to? Sa minudo is pork stew. Yes. Pork kaderata is pork stew. Okay? With the different variations. Okay? Uh, beef kaderata is a beef stew. Kasi you start. Okay? Ang stew, kate, ang stew S -T -E -W, is you start with the dry heat method. Ano bang dry heat method ang ginawa sa pagluto ng minudo? Ito yung nagigisa ka ng sibuyas, bawang, Tama? Tama ba? At baboy. Tama, di ba? Okay. Yes, sir. You start with dry heat method. Then after you saute the vegetable and the meat, no? you pour water. Naglagay ka na ngayon ng liquid ingredients. That's how you end, uh, that's how you prepare the stew. Okay? And then you end with the simmer, simmer, simmer hanggang sa maging maluto na yung inyong pagkain. Okay, that's how the stew or the, the, the stewing process applied. Okay, kaya pwede niyong i-revise if ever that you are uh, you are creating a certain kind of title, no? Instead of writing minudo, why not uh, try uh, 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 writing uh, pork stew with carrots and potatoes? Mga ganyan. So, pwede mo siyang i-consider as minuto. O kaya yung caldereta. Uh, beef as stew with uh, liver spread. O kaya nga ganon, liver spread or whatever. So, it's how, it's how this depends, no? 
kung paano mapapangalanan yung ano mo, yung dishes mo, no? Okay? Pero you make sure when you are creating a names on your dish, it should be apply of this method. Kung ano yung method na ginamit mo, dapat lalabas siya. Okay? Doon sa pagluluto mo, the way you cook no? the food, or even the attributes of the food are also, uh, uh, you can use, no? In giving the name or giving a name to a certain kind of dish. Kasi hindi tayo pwede magsabi ng ano, anong ula mo? Pacham. Anong niluto mo? Pacham. Ano yung pacham? Pacham ba? <laughs> Ibig sabihin, lagay ka lang lagay ng ingredients na without, without knowing, no? Without knowing any ingredients complementary. So, pero at the end, okay, you, you, you create a food, okay naman pala yung lasa. Ano ulit luto mo? Pacham. <laughs> hindi. You should, uh, you should uh, give name no, to your food. Okay? So the next natin is, uh, after the baking method, is the blanching. No? When you say blanching method, we need to, we need to have a two different temperatures okay? that, uh, that, that, that uh, na kailangan natin. No? Okay? The number one is the hot temperature and the second one is the cold temperature. Okay? Dipping the food in the boiling water, that's hot temperature or oil, and then after that is you need to transfer okay, into cold temperature. How this blanching, up, I mean, bakit ina-apply usually ang, mga, ang blanching sa vegetable? Kasi ang vegetable po is ito po yung mga items na madaling uh, maluto. No? So pag itong process na blanching na ginagawa, usually sa side dish natin ito ginagawa, at i-apply natin ito no? uh, during your kitchen preparations, no? You start with boiling water, uh, boiling water, and then you dip. Example like broccoli or cauliflower with carrots. You dip in the boiling water these vegetables. Okay, so the the tendency, no, lalambot yung gulay. Okay, you know what what happened, no? or why uh, the vegetable are becoming soft when it's boiling? Because in boiling temperature or in boiling process, the moisture inside in the food are extracted no in the hot water okay so that the moisture will go out to the food okay and then that's the time the food will become tender okay that's how that how that's how it goes kung bakit yan lumalambot hindi dahil nakulukan ang kulo lumalambot yan kasi yung moisture na nasa loob ng pagkain ay lumalabas kaya lumalambot ang pagkain Okay, so uh, the blanching process tayo, so since na lumalabas na yung moisture no, ng, uh, ng pagkain, okay, you need to stop okay, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the extraction of the moisture. That's why you need a cold water to seal the pores okay, of this kind of vegetable or food item to prevent from overcooking its uh, internal parts. Okay? Kung baga parang sa mukha ba, para ma-open mo yung pores mo, girls, para ma-open ang pores mo, kailangan mo ng, anong kailangan mo? Hot towel, sir. Hot towel. You need hot temperature, tama? Di ba, Alexandra? And then after, after the hot temperature, you apply the any, any, any face, uh, facial, whatever, cream, or, uh, uh, medical or whatever sa mukha mo. Then after that, you rinse it with ano? Para magsarado yung pores. R you rinse with? Water po. Cold ano, water, cold, sir. Diba? Cold water na. Diba? Kasi para masilled yung pores. It's, it is the same factor in the blanching process. Okay? Or a uh, blanching application natin. Okay? You use the hot water. Siyempre hot water naman yun. Mukha natin naman pwedeng hot. And then you sealed the pores through the cold water. That's how the blanching, I mean, applied. Okay, that's how we apply blanching, or that's that's how we uh, produce a blanching process. Okay, the next one is the boiling. Okay, boiling is using one type of ingredient, no, uh, to cook the food, especially uh, like water. No, you are we are using water, not to cook the food. Okay, you only water, no other liquid applied. Kasi kapag naglagay ka tayo ng iba pang liquid dyan, simmering na ang tawag dyan. Okay? 
So when you are you when you are using only one liquid like water, you can use the word boiling. Sample boiling of eggs, water and eggs, boiling of potatoes, water and potatoes. But when you mix it with other liquid like soy sauce, uh, vinegar, tomato sauce, or whatever sauce or other liquid, the term that you are now using is simmering. Okay, simmering na ang tawag doon. Okay, next, braising. Ayan, explain natin yung braising. Yung boiling, yung fried. Actually, uh, we have, uh, sa dry heat method, we have the first one is saute. Okay, which is we are using a small amount of oil or fats. Kasi ang, ang oh, ba't ko sinasabing fats? Kasi fats are extracted from, uh, I mean, uh, oil are came from fats. Okay, again. Oil is came from fats, okay? And these fats are came from different uh, sources, okay? We have different sources of fat. Number one is the animal fat, which is these are fat came from animals like hog. Ano ba yun? Ano ba English na ano? Sa karne, okay? Sa beef, Okay? And then sa any animal no, na extract yung ating mantika, like chicken oil, okay, those are what you call animal fat. Okay? And the next one is, uh, ang tawag nito? Is the fish. Yeah, sa fish, fish fat. Okay? I mean, isa, ito, 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 ito lang yung pinaka-healthy sa lahat, yung fish, fish oil o yung fish fat na. Ay, fish fat. Okay, na makuha, na, o yung fat na makukuha sa fish. Okay, that's the very uh, the most healthy animal fat that we can uh, consume, no? Uh, that we can uh, uh, we can get omega three and fiber. Okay, and the next one is the 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 ma majority of the source of oil is came from vegetable, no? So or fat. Okay, so vegetable fat. Okay, so don't galing ang ating mga mantika. Majority is galing siya ng vegetable because 75% of oil produced in the whole world whole world are came from vegetables and the 35% are came from anywhere okay came from anywhere like animal or whatever sources ng fat natin okay so yun yung ano yun yung factor no? that's why i use the word fats or oil okay kasi ang, ang fats kasi is the raw okay raw uh, uh, extraction of uh, an oil and oil is a process, okay, that extracted from fats. Okay, so yun lang naman yan. Next natin is, uh, yeah, saute. Saute is, uh, you need just a small amount of oil and then you need to have a continuum motion, okay, like uh, mixing, okay, use either using your wooden spoon or kitchen spoon, no, uh, to cook the food uh, in, in, in manner of sauteing. Okay, the second one is frying or fried. Okay, with, it means that you need to dip the half part, okay, of the food, okay, into an oil or fats. And then after cooking that, that side, that dip in the oil, you flip it upside down and then you turn to the other side to cook. Uh, to, I mean, you, cook, you turn to the other side to cook also. Okay, that's how you fry. Okay, hindi ka pwede mag-fry. Eh, nilubog mo sa mantika yung, ano, yung item. Kasi ang tawag doon is deep fried. It means that you are, no, you are uh, needing a huge amount of oil or fats to cook the food. And the food should be deep. Okay? Uh, in, uh, ano yun? Yeah, lubog, no? <laughs> ano yun? Hindi ko lubog. Okay? It, you, you, need, you, need, you need to have a shallow, no? You need to have deep. Ibig sabihin, lubog dapat yung item. Genevieve, saan ka pupunta? Saan kaya pupunta sa si Genevieve, no? Okay. Ay, may kausap si Genevieve. <laughs> Ayan. So that's how you do the deep fried, no? Okay. After the, uh, uh, the deep fried, actually sa deep fried may have three methods, no? In deep frying. Okay, the number one method of deep frying is the basket method. Okay, when we say basket method, no, we are using, alam niyo yung, ano, yung French fries na niluluto sa mga fast food. Okay, di ba meron, meron kayong nakikitang basket doon na stainless? 
na yes, sir. nilulubog doon sa mantika, na deep fry. So, that's example ng uh, basket method. The second one is the double basket method. You have the basket and then you put the, you put the food and then you top with another basket and then you deep fry. Bakit kailangan may another basket to deep fry the food? Para maiwasan yung pagka lutang kasi pag lumutang yung pagkain uneven yung kanyang pagkaluto ang luto diyan yung ilalim yung ibabaw hindi luto that's why you use the double basket method okay then ito yung madalas na ginagawa niyo pag nasa bahay kapag gumagawa kayo ng uh, ng kikyam or nagluluto kayo ng uh, ng kwekwek or fish ball yung tinatawag nating floating or swimming method okay yung mga pagluto ng banana queue kamote queue ang tawag diyan is floating or swimming method under the deep fry. Okay, because you are just letting no the food item to swim or to float in the hot deep oil. Okay? So that's how you do it the deep fry. Okay, the next one we have the grilled, no? Pag sinabi nating grilled, anyhow or ihow, it means that the fire are at underneath, no? Underneath ng ating pagkain na niluluto. And then the next one is the Uh, yung opposite niya no ng uh, opposite ng grill is broil. Okay? Broil is a kind of uh, ayan no mali yung spelling nito. Boil, boiling to boiling. It's broiling. Okay? It means that the fire is on the top of the food. Okay? Example ng ano, example ng broiling na process na ginagawa natin. Yung diyan sa mga malalapit diyan sa ating aglipay. Sa simbahan ng Aglipay dyan sa Mandaluyong, malalapit dyan, no? During the Burmans, you start seeing uh, what? Uh, the putubumbong and the bibingka, no? The bibingka process or cooking the bibingka is under the broiling process because, okay, uh, you are, di ba yung bibingka, unang lulutuin mo yung ilalim, Then after that, inilipat yung bibingka doon sa paso na wala ng uling sa ilalim, tapos ilalagay na yung uling sa ibabaw. Tama ba? Tama ba? Ay, wala na akong kausap. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tama, di ba? Ayan. So yun yung, yung process na yun na ginagawa sa bibingka na sinusunog yung ibabaw, ang tawag doon is broiling process. Okay, so that's how it goes. Okay, the next one that we had is the poaching. Okay, poaching, kumbaga sa deep fried, okay, ito yung counterpart niya. Kasi sa, po sa poaching naman natin is you need to have a water, no? You dip the food in the water, okay, so that the poaching will apply. Okay, then we have the roasting. Anong pagkakaiba ng roasting natin sa, ano, sa... sa ano to sa sa baking no anong pagkakaiba ng roasting sa baking ito kasi usually baka mamaya lagi kayo nagkakamali dito ano or magkamali kayo dito ang roasting no yung pagkain gagamit ka ng skewer ito yung ano yung skewer ito yung pantuhog doon sa food item and then ang apoy niya is nasa ilalim nasa gilid o nasa taas and you will just let the food Okay, round. Okay, doon sa mismong skewer. Okay? It, ang ina-apply doon is what you call the roasting. Ang baking, hindi. Ang baking, you stay the food, okay, on a, uh, uh, the right, uh, uh, to call this, sa tamang pagkakalagay, and then, hinahayaan mo yung hot temperature ang umikot doon sa paligid ng pagkain para maluto yung binibake mo. That's the difference between the roasting and the baking. Okay? Next. Oh, last, last slide. Okay? So, last slide na tayo. So, we will now proceed. Uh, balik ulit tayo sa ating new LMS. Okay? So, wala tayo. Hindi na ako mag-open this to develop up, uh, uh, and update industry knowledge. We will now proceed. Uh, observe. Work hygiene procedure is still applied pa rin siya with your OHS. So, hindi, hindi ko na rin siya bubuksan. And we will go tayo with the perform computer operations. Hindi naman tayo IT, pero dapat marunong pa rin tayo ng mga basic ng computer, no? Especially sa mga gumagamit ng cellphone. Pero hindi na rin natin pagdadaanan niya, no? We will now proceed to perform workplace safety practices. 
Ito, kailangan natin itong pag-aralan kasi our kitchen is full of equipments, heavy equipments or meron tayong gas line. Okay? Ang kusina ng JST Kalantong is meron tayong gas line and you should be responsible no, for the gas uh, na gagamitin natin sa, sa pagluluto. Okay? So siyempre, dahil pag sinabing gas line yan, centralized yung gas niyan. So hindi ka hindi nyo pwedeng pabayaan yung niluluto ninyo. Kasi la, pag isang kalan yung napunde o isang kalan yung nagka-problema, buong kalan ng ating uh, si Kalentong sira. Okay, kaya maging maing, magiging maging maingat kayo sa paggamit ng gamit natin sa sa kitchen. Okay, pupasok tayo din sa basic rules of kitchen. Okay, so Uh, here in our new LMS lakayan ko lang ulit no. Okay, in a few seconds, in a few minutes no mag-aenda na tayo no para hindi naman kayo ayan kagaya ng mga ways ng pagluluto sa Cooks to Go and Docs Baliwag. Correct po. Uh, Paula Ann. Ang tawag doon roast uh, roasting. Yeah. That's how it is. Yes, Ma Maria Eliza. Meron po tayong sasabihin, wala po. Okay, so we will now proceed to our perform and workplace safety practices, basic rules of kitchen safety. Learning objective at the end of this module, you will be able to understand the importance of observing safety measure in the kitchen, identify the different kitchen safety tips. Okay, so cooking is fun. Yes, literally cooking is fun. Okay, but kitchen safety is a priority. Think about it, the knives, the fire, bacteria, observing basic rules of the kitchen safety is a, asa na yun, ba't lumiit? Ayan, lakihan natin para nakikita ninyo. Okay? It's a good happy to develop. Okay, always pay attention on what, okay, what you are doing in the kitchen because one sleep can cause a serious injury or accident. Okay, na kuha ba ninyo? Ba't na but buo ba kayo lahat? Ayan, dito nga tayo sa taas. Okay. So next natin, store knives in a wooden block or in a drainer or drawer. Okay, number one. Okay, make sure that the knives are out of reach with the children. Next, never cook in loose clothes and keep a long hair tied back. Huwag daw tayo magtrabaho ng maluluwag na damit. Kasi pwede yung makasanhin ng danger or at, uh, at else, another pa is kailangan nakapusod daw yung ating mga buhok or sometimes we are using the hairnet or the chef cap or the uh, kitchen cap. Okay, never cook while wearing dangling earrings or jewelry. Yung mga sumasabit-sabit na mga bracelet, quintas. Wait lang, klasa, wait lang. Okay, next is keep the pot holders nearby. Ito yung mga basahan natin, no? Kailangan i-keep lang natin nearby eh, para hindi tayo uh, ma ma bumagal doon sa ano natin, sa pag uh, baka para hindi natin mahawakan ng mainit yun yung ating mga gamit. Okay, that's how you use the pot holders nearby. Always uh, uh, put pot holders. Okay, so mga basahan niyo, no? Okay, next Turn pot handles away from front of the stove. Okay? Huwag nyo daw ilagay okay, yung handles okay, away from the front of the stove. Okay? So huwag nyo daw ibaliktad yung hawakan dun sa malayo sa inyo. It should be in the front of you. Don't let temperature sensitive food sit out in the kitchen. Okay? Don't let temperature sensitive food sit out in the kitchen. Ibig sabihin niyo, huwag kayong maging aware. Okay? Maging aware daw kayo. Okay? Okay, maging aware daw kayo sa inyong mga pagkain at huwag niyong ma-abuse yung temperature para hindi masunog ang inyong pagkain. Wipe up spills immediately. Pag naghugas kayo, 
Huwag niyong hayang tumutulo yung hinugasan ninyo sa papunta sa kabilang table. Kasi you will create spills na kung saan pwede maging danger yan sa mga classmate ninyo. Separate raw meat from poultry because it will contaminate the food. Ayan, wait lang po. Okay, so we're back. Okay, next is wash your hands before handling food and after handling meat or all three. Ayan, so always uh, wash your hands no, before and after no, handling our raw ingredients. Get a fire extinguisher for your kitchen, okay, when the fire starts up to, to burst. Next, 28 basic kitchen safety tips. Number one, make sure all wires or cords and plugs on your appliances are not frayed. Ibig sabihin, may, may kagat ba ng mga, mga daga. Ayan. Or kaya may tapya so kaya na ipit, na baluktot yung mga kable. No? Or kaya na, tama na ipit, na mamabigat na gamit. No? And the plugs uh, have three pro prong grounded connections. Usually, ang mga gamit natin sa kusina or mga malalaking equipment sa kusina, tatlo yung kanyang gamit na saksakan because the one is the ground. Okay, ground will uh, help, no? Uh, the the two 220 volts or yung volts na kuryente na yan to uh, to stop no the flowing of electric current through the grounds ayan kaya kailangan tatlo pa rin niya kahit sabihin yung wala yang silbi still kailangan niya pa rin tatlo okay don't use extension cords you can obtain junction box that's built in ano na to medyo na to uh, Medyo kaya na itong basahin ng ating, ng inyo, no, mga classmate ninyo. No? So we will now proceed to the second. Hanapin natin yung second natin. Okay, tapusin na natin to para goods na tayo. Okay, so okay na siya. Pwede siyang self-reading. Buksan ko na lang siya later. Last natin yung provide effective customer service. Okay, so in terms of providing the service, no? I, ha I will give us uh, three points. Number one, okay, you need to serve, okay, uh, service to people, okay, the best as you could. Okay, kung ano yung kaya nyo, ibigay nyo, best nyo, pagsilbihan nyo yung customer with or without tip. You, not, you should not be tip-oriented kasi because when you are tip-oriented, doon ka lang gaganahan kumilos sa kusina, okay, or sa, sa, sa trabaho mo. You should be customer oriented so that whether they appraise you or they will not appraise you, they thank you or that not does not thank you. No, still, okay. Ano na to? Ah, uh, tawag nito is ah, uh, wala lang sa inyo kasi ang mahalaga binigay mo yung best mo, okay? Ganun yon kapag kahit din sa pagmamahal niyo kapag binigay niyo yung best niyo, wala na kayong ano? Wala na kayong ahabulen. Kasi binigay niyo na yung best ninyo eh. Siya na yung may mali. Hindi na, hindi na ikaw yung may mali. Char! <laughs> okay. Next natin, pangalawa. Okay? Sa so, providing customer and effective uh, customer. Siyempre, listen to them. Okay? As we topic in the basic...
Okay, so uh, tawag nito, the, the second one was, ano yun? Ano sabi ko? <laughs> ano yung sabi ko? Uh, Nika, I'm out. Ano yung sinabi ko ng pangalawa? Anyone? Anyone? Makakapagpaalala? Wala? Wala makakapagpaalala? Wala po kami narinig, sir, na, na mute ka po ata. Hanggang ngayon? Meron na po ngayon. Yung pangalawa, yung pangalawa, anong panguna, service, customer, tip, uh, oriented. Yung pangalawa, ay, nakalimutan ko yung dalawa. Pangalawa, yung sinabi na get ko kanina. Hmm. Nakalimutan ko yung pangalawa. <laughs> Effective kami. Ah, you good listener. Ayan. You, you should be a good listener. Kasi the customer, okay, or the manager, or the team worker no sa kusina ninyo no uh, give instructions so when you when when someone give you instruction you should listen and analyze no the instructions give, being given to you okay the third okay is in providing sir customers effective uh, pag nagkaroon ng problema always apply the word heat h e a t okay Hit stands for letter H. Hear the complaint. Okay, pakinggan niyo kung ba kung ano yung ano yung kung bakit siya nagagalit, anong gag, ano anong rason bakit siya nagagalit. Number two is E, empathize with the guest. Ilagay mo yung sarili mo sa kanyang mga sapatos na what if ikaw naman yung nagreklamo ng ganon. Okay? Pangatlo is apologize to guest. Okay? Maghangingi kay ng uh, ng patawad kasi hindi kayo naging aware dun sa problem or kung naging aware man kayo, hindi naging tama yung respond ninyo or ng tauhan ninyo. And the last one is T, take action. Okay, when you are taking action, it means that you are giving the benefit, okay, that the service they are need, uh, they are, uh, that you are providing to the customer is not just a, a, a service lang, no? You should provide a good and quality service. So that's how we go with the common competency natin. The next topic natin ng mga ano ng 41. Okay, bibigyan ko kayo ng uh, another lectures ng additional lectures from the basic cast measurements and the other ideas no sa loob ng ating uh, core competency will be on the next session. Okay? Any question? Any questions class? Wala. So I will drop again the attendance. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, thank you so much for your time to be with our online session. And I asked everyone to turn on their cameras so that we will be able to get a uh, picture, a selfie picture. Okay, part ng ating, uh, part ng ating, uh, ano <laughs> collage. Okay. So, smile po tayo. We have two panels, no? Smile tayo. Wait lang. Close ko lang to. Close. Ayan. Smile in three, two, one. Smile. Okay. Wait lang po. Another. Mag-check lang ako ng next, next slide. Relax lang. Wait lang po. Okay. Another slide. In three, two, one. Smile. Wait lang. Isa pa. Smile. Ay, wait lang. Ano ba yan? Wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. Okay. Smile na tayo. Three, two, one. Smile. Sorry. <laughs> Ayan. So, thank you so much for your time. And see you again on our next meeting. Again, wala tayong klase ng sa tuwing Sabado na. But you need to log in and log out your what? BSRS. Okay? So, nagkakaintindihan po ba? Yes po. Sir, kanina okay, so... hindi pala ako naka-out. Ay, ano po? Uh, okay lang po yun, ma'am, kasi kung hindi naman kayo naka-out, sinacheck ko naman, hindi na out ko na kay lahat. Okay? So, later, no, uh, 8.35 ang oras sa akin, no, in 25 minutes, mag-out. 25 ba? Tama. Tama. 25 minutes, mag-out na po ko sa in- na mag-out na kayo sa inyong BSRS. Again, thank you so much and uh, yeah, enjoy your weekend. Always remember, you are loved, accepted, and valid. Bye! Thank you, sir! Thank you, sir! Thank you, sir!